The doors just reopened, but the curtain's coming down once again. Yesterday, the First Minister called time on indoor entertainment as part of a pre-Christmas crackdown. Here at the Maxine in Blackwood, it's another disappointment. It's a great blow to us because it's a busy time for us into the run-up to Christmas. The audiences at the moment are just starting to build up again after the fire break that we had. And of course we had that long period uh, in the summer when we were closed for four weeks longer than the cinemas in England. After a difficult year, it's got workers worried on the run-up to Christmas. It definitely means uncertainty for our jobs at the moment. We don't really know where we stand, where we're stopping and starting, you know, open and closing. Um, I tried to get a mortgage, but obviously based on furlough pay, they're denying mortgages, so it's really worrying times. Independents like this fear that after working so hard to keep audiences safe and weather the past few months, this could finally bring them to their knees. It's not just the box office under pressure. This cinema brings 350,000 visitors to Blackwood every year. Of course, we still don't know what Monday will bring for other businesses, but this is another blow. It's, it's going to sort of, I would say, destroy the town's industries because a lot more people are not going to come to Blackwood. They're going to go to other elsewhere, you know, Cardiff, bigger places. So it's going to mean a lot more people not shopping in Blackwood. The Welsh Government hopes to bring down rates in time for Christmas. But for Valley's high streets like this, the financial hit could dampen the festive spirit. Jenna Breathcader, ITV News, Blackwood.